just like black Hebrew. Uh, they call us black Hebrew Israelites. Like, what I'm trying to get across to you is it's not just a black thing. I don't know if you ever heard of us and things of that nature, but Israel's been scattered abroad and things of that nature. So when I looked at your apparel and I looked at the way you was walking, I was just like, let me talk to Bro real quick. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe he, he knows something that I don't and things of that nature. Forgive me. Um. So what what Hebrew like what a Hebrew Israelite is? We're the true chosen people of the Most High. We've been scattered and we've been punished for our transgressions against the Lord, right? The Most High, who the world even was called God in Christ, and things of that nature. You probably heard it in your church houses and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, say what? We, we exactly. We didn't keep the covenant. You know what I'm saying? No so, sound. Uh, yeah. Peace and blessings, King. Hey, hey, blessings, bro. So, like the brother said, we didn't keep the covenant. So. We on punishment right now in America. If you can receive it, we on punishment right now here in America because we didn't keep that covenant with the Most High. So I got brothers that I don't know their their true names. I don't know the color of the skin tone. We've been scattered abroad. So I got brothers that look like um. What kind of music you listen to? You listen to rap. Oh, rap? You listen to rap? Okay. You um. You know um. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know how to make you rappers and shit like that. So. If you ever listen to rock up uh, metal and things of that nature, you know like guys like Ronnie Ratchie, like Falling on Hurt, no, Eminem? You feel, of course you're familiar with Eminem. Eminem is an Israelite. He's a brother. He, he come, I don't know what tribe he comes from exactly. I can't prove it, prove it to you, but he comes he comes from the line of the chosen and things of that nature. I truly, sincerely believe he does. And like I said, like when I saw your apparel and I saw the way you was walking down the I was just like, yo, this, you know what I'm saying? This just might be your brother. So, there's a chance you can get saved, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you come back up here, and a lot of people, they might come uh, come up here and be like, oh, he curses out the white man, and yada, 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 things of that nature. It's not about white people. You know, when you look at the, the, the Illuminati or whatever, don't they got every fucking thing for themselves? They got all the fucking riches, they got all the women, they got all the, they got all the, the best food, things of that nature, and shit like that. We don't got shit. Here it is, we out here at the fucking bottom, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not making this about hate and white and love and black. This is not a black thing. This is a Hebrew Israelite thing. It's not a religion. It's a culture. You know, it's you know what I'm saying? But that's all I wanted to say to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you too. I'm about to you again. Come back up here and listen, bro. All right. Shalom. I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to the Holy Bible. I come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. All right? The downfall of the sinful kingdom, which is spiritually called Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, and Babylon according to the Holy Bible. All right? I also come out to prophesy the salvation of you so called Jews, man, or of you Jews, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the true chosen people of the Holy Bible, and the Lord is coming back to rescue you. Okay? A little word ignorantly calls God and Christ. Alright? With that being said, before I go into my lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. All right, salutations to the hopeful elect, to your brothers out there in the four corners of the world, pushing and teaching the truth with all righteousness and sincerity, and shalom to you, few sincere sisters. All right, it's another week out, man. You know, and it's hot as hell. You know, and every day coming soon, America's about to be burning up itself, man. You know. 200 million missiles is about to strike this place. Whether you want to believe it or not. The downfall of America, which is spiritually called Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, and Babylon, according to the Holy Bible, this place is about to get messed up by thermal nuclear destruction. Again, whether you want to believe it or not, man. But the Heavenly Father says so himself. The Son says so himself. 
all right? So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said a prophet, or who the world calls God in Christ, they said a prophet to prophesy, to tell before, because that's what prophecy means, to tell before, all right? To tell before the destruction that's to come, you know? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, again, the doors of repentance is still open. All right, the doors of grace, the doors of repentance. A time to, to, to turn away from your wicked ways is still open. And the scriptures talk about whether you want to hear or whether you want to forbear. All right? Because the Lord knows you niggas is hard-headed. The Lord made y'all. So of course, the Lord, uh, of course the Lord knows you niggas is hard-headed, man. You so-called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get this first scripture. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. All right? So to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered abroad, okay, the Lord told us to prophesy unto you and show you your transgressions, uh, show you where you're going off at, okay? Because that's sin, transgression of the law. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and get that as well, all right? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. I think I'm going to use the bathroom. I know. I will that. I know. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Okay? So when you transgress something, that means you go against it. Okay? So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and uh, Native Americans, our so-called Indians, y'all went against the Heavenly Father. We all went against the Heavenly Father. So right now we're on punishment, man. As I was talking to the, I believe, who was in confusion the face, uh, um, uh, Israel and foreigner earlier, okay? We went against the Heavenly Father and the Son. We went against the law, statutes, and commandments, the Mosaic law, okay? And the scriptures talk about how the, uh, the wages of sin is death. So when you go against the Heavenly Father, when you commit sin, all right, you're going to receive uh, uh, death, man. All right, death is your constellation prize, if you will, all right? So the Heavenly Father sent us in these many different captivities to punish us and let us know why, why he's so wroth and why he's so upset with us. All right? But I'm going to read it again. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Okay, again, sin is the transgression of the law. So going back to Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. All right? That's what the prophets is out today for, man, to show the house of Jacob their sins. Okay? As offended as you guys want to get, man, we out here to tell niggas that they being niggas, man. Okay? We also out here to tell you how to stop being a nigga and, and how to repent because... The time of judgment is at hand. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered abroad, it's time for you to repent and come back to the Lord. It's either now or never, man. All right, the Lord is not playing with you, Jakes, man. All right? Isaiah chapter 58, verse 2, it says, Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways, as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of the power of their God, they asked me of the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Yeah, because that's the nature of our people, man. Okay? We seek to know the Lord. We seek to know the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right? But as the scriptures say, uh, 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 um, 
They praise me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, man. And that's the nature of our people, I know. That's the nature of our people, you know? But we seek to know righteousness, all right? But our righteousness today, to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, your righteousness today is wickedness, you know? As a matter of fact, let me see if I can get that in the book of Romans right quick, man, through the spirit. Because, again, man, like, it's, it's, it's in our nature to be righteous, man. It's in our nature to be, to be uh, 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 separate, to be individuals, all right, to be separated from the world. Because that's how Yahweh Bashimi Shai made us, man. All right, we're not like these other nations, you know? Let me get this in the book of Romans. All right, this is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved, okay? So that's the Lord's desire to our people that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered abroad might be saved, man, okay? Because, again, you, you have a chance, you have an opportunity to deliver yourself from, from this uh, from this captivity through the Lord, man, okay? Not trying to establish an uh, 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 Israelite kingdom within America because you can't do that, man. That council is not of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father wants us to completely take over this place, man, all right? The goal of the Heavenly Father is to eradicate all manner of wickedness. That's our goal. That's the Heavenly Father's goal, man, all right? Romans 10 and 2, it says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Yeah, we have a zeal of the Mosah, but it's not according to knowledge, man. You know, you see Jake all over the fucking place, man. 